Hello and welcome back everybody to Slowly We Go. With my channel being all around slow living and conscious parenting and sustainable ways of life, I just really wanted to address why I think that a slow living lifestyle in your household can really benefit your child and just talk a little bit about how it affects them. I think one of the most prominent things is the fact that you just become so much more present with your child. You're there with them and they can feel that attention and love and it can really help to stop a lot of attention seeking behaviour if they feel like they are getting your attention. And then through this they will feel a lot more capable of independent play through being in a calmer environment that you're creating within your household. They're gonna find it a lot easier to learn and acknowledge their emotions. Because it's quite a stepping stone for toddlers, dealing with all these new feelings and emotions that they don't know how to control. If you allow that space for them to explore them and you're there present, then it's gonna be much easier when we're talking about slow living in the household as a family, for us that means not having continuous distractions like TVs and screens. And I feel like this really allows space for the imagination. Now, I'm not saying that TVs are sin of all sins. I'm just saying be conscious and be intentional about what is influencing your child. If you turn the screens off when they're having a meal or having a snack, they can start to build a relationship with food and explore and discover rather than doing it passively and just being completely distracted by what is on the telly or on the screens. Give yourself for practicing gratitude and appreciation for the day-to-day -day things like eating and jobs around the house, then your child is gonna be learning this from you. Something I wanna to touch on briefly, but I am planning on making a separate video about this. Is something called rhythmic living which is a way of life that I learned through the Waldorf homeschool curriculum and it's all about how young children just absolutely thrive off routine they feel more stable and able when they know what to expect you start feeling very grounded and connected to everything around you. If you're celebrating the seasons throughout each year in a very circular manner, things end up feeling very familiar the same way that points of the day will start feeling very familiar to your child. And if you are practicing slow living within your house anyway, these things kind of go without saying, they'll just happen and you'll find your child expecting the next thing. Like they know when it's night time, they know when it's snack time, they know when it's crafts time. I didn't wanna make this video too long guys because I would love to delve deep into each of these points at a later date. If that sounds good to you, drop it in the comments below. So I'll catch you in the next video. Speak to you soon.